where are the top lakes to fish in the country guys right here we have the Bassmaster 100 top lakes in the country for the previous year guys i always enjoy getting this magazine and going through these lakes and in this video today we're about to talk about not just the top 10 lakes but some lakes in the region i fished one of these lakes that's in here a lot in the last year but i have history of fishing some of the other ones even some in the top 10 so guys we're going to talk about this and in this video i want you guys in the comments let me know if you fish some of these lakes sometimes this magazine you know with it kind of being the previous year them releasing it now some lakes might be kind of on the decline uh some might not even be that good it's always kind of funny and there's actually like like, like there's not a lake I know that's really good that's not even in here right now so it's always interesting so I want to hear your guys's feedback since I was really getting up uh, fishing watching the Bassmaster and all that and get my first magazine I always enjoyed this part the 100 top lakes and they've switched up throughout the years it used to just be like a ranking system and now they kind of do it by regions which kind of makes sense to me at first i did not like it but now i understand and do it's kind of hard to compare uh throughout the country with the different types of lakes and seasons if you hear the thunder guys a storm's coming in right now i'm trying to get this filmed for you guys okay so if you hear some thunder disregard it guys welcome to the fishing coach youtube channel i'm coach e also go by jimmy easterling guys but just go ahead and call me coach thank you today for watching and just being a part of this type of video i do a lot of on the water videos and i'll do some talking videos and this is just something i want to talk about these top 100 lakes okay uh and guys at the end of the segment we'll have a faith juice segment as well okay that's the new addition of the channel i've gotten so much positive feedback on so thank y'all once again let's talk about these lakes okay so i open this up right here here. All right, let's talk about these lakes. Number one, which is one I've never fished and I would love to fish, is the St. Lawrence River. And it just makes sense. As it even mentioned there, uh, last tournament there in 23, top four anglers had over 100 pounds. And a lot of that was smallmouth, which is incredible. Uh, but guys, St. Lawrence, no, I mean, you're catching 100 pounds of smallmouth and the smallmouth that's there, it is, now it gets pressured though. And I've heard even by more anglers it's getting more pressure but guys one thing about this lake and like some of the lakes in here i mean this is a 50 mile stretch this is a giant giant body of water i just saw some lightning right there so a giant body of water now number two was when i was surprised um it's still it's just number two still but i mean it's ohiv and it's one that i've been to uh made a video about it when I was on the Declassified channel. You know, I went there and in my first 20 minutes, me and my good friend Michael, we put a double digit in the boat, man. It's a pretty cool lake. The thing about that lake that's unique is it is in the desert of Texas. It is in the desert, uh, neat deal. There's not much sales service. It's just a different type of lake. So right there, one and two, totally opposite types of lakes. Now, number three is your, like, I'm not gonna go through all these guys. But like number three though, is like your, your sleeper. Like, I've never heard of this lake. Orange Lake in Florida. Never heard of it. Florida guys, let me know what you think. But as I get through this, like, you know, four was like St. Clair, five was Fork. Guys, I went to Fork last year, and I know like we see the tournaments when Bassmaster goes there, and they hit it right this year. They hit it right, but not everybody caught them. Um, I went to Fork last summer, and it was tough. Like if you talk to the guides, the dudes that were down there, it's not near as good as what it used to be. Or excuse to be. What it was the previous year. Guys, like right after COVID and during that, dude, it was fire. It had the drawdown, put those fishing areas. They cracked them. And now it came back up. And then it kind of had like a tough year just because there's just more places for the fish and they just didn't get there. But even right now, I've heard some good reports from Fork. So that's just one that's always interesting uh, for that as well. But guys, you know, as we get through here, you know, Bussy Breaks number nine. I want to get to there one day. Mill Axe, Minnesota. Gosh, that's that's one. Clear Lake. And we're going to talk about, so one of the regions is the West region. I don't, I, you guys don't get to hear much about the West region if you're where we're at in Arkansas to the East Coast due to the tournament trails don't go over there. They used to go to Clear Lake. They used to go to the Delta. You got to get that like kind of West Coast experience. But now today, Bassmaster doesn't go over there. And so this is kind of like a little bit of a, a deal so as i get through here let's look through the first region which is my region you know we have your top 10 that's already in it which four of them are in this region i think this is the most in a region pretty unique region right there uh but one of the lakes you know as you get through there you got your caney creek you know toledo bend toledo bend and sam rayburn are six seven and toledo has been awesome from what i've been hearing the past few years and toledo is a special place i've been there it's giant it's almost overwhelming same as sam sam's huge as well but as you get through here like Oak Creek's right there at number nine, and this lake in Iowa, West, oh, I can't even say it, 
Okabo Oka How do y'all say that lake? 3,000 acres. That lake's about to get hammered. I mean, and like this Oak Creek that's 2,000 acres. Then you look up there, like I said, Toledo Bend and Rayburn, huge. I mean, huge. So, um, I've been to Caddo, Caddo's 13th, I think that's a pretty, pretty cool lake. Um, you know, you got your Darbone in here, you got Grand Lake, your typicals. Now, here's the one that I fish a lot, guys, if you're on the channel a lot. Our one lake really from Arkansas, you got Bull Shoals, but Bull Shoals is Arkansas and Missouri. I ain't, Arkansas don't get all that credit because it's coming in from Missouri. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, Table Rock's right there, Lake of Ozarks, but then Washita. is number 20, and it kind of mentions the Bassmaster Open Tournament there, which was like a really tough event. It kind of highlighted that, and I'm like, man, there's been some big bags caught at Washita this winter, been some big fish caught there, and so... Um, I know for a fact, guys, Washita probably deserves to be in this t top 25 of the region. Not top 10 or top 15. 20 might be the best it could deserve, okay? Great lake, but, like, comparing it to, like, Table Rock, Bull Shows, those, like, have a smallmouth population that, like, Washita doesn't. I got on Washita. I do forward-facing sonar trips on Washita. It was a wonderful lake in the spring, but you're not catching the smallmouth like some of these other lakes or just the size of largemouth like them Texas lakes do. One unique thing about this, so I get to see throughout the years how the Arkansas lakes come in and out. Erling was on there for a couple years. Now, Erling's not. Uh, Erling's a small little lake, South Arkansas, near Louisiana. Millwood was on there for a long time. Now, Millwood, it, Millwood won't make it back there, I don't know, for a while, okay? Uh, Millwood was one of our hot lakes in Arkansas. It still could be really good, and it's a very fun place to fish, but it's just not been near like it was. And a lot of those locals know that. I know that from my six years living there. Uh, and then DeGray was one that used to be on here. DeGray, guys, we had a great winter at DeGray. Then when the spring came, shoom, it just, you know, anyway. I mean, we went from catching eight and ten pounders to all of a sudden it's hard to catch a three pounder. It just happens. Now, guys, as you get through here, though, like this next region, the west region. Okay, so Clear Lake's the only one in the west region. And one thing I want to mention about the west region is, like, number six is a lake I want to fish. Dorshack. I want to go fish that lake. I've heard of the giant smallmouth been been caught in there. Um, it's kind of up there, middle of nowhere, uh, what, Idaho, right? Yeah, Idaho. I would love to go fish that lake. But then as I look at this, there's these other lakes I've never heard of. Uh, lake, I can't even say that other lake from Idaho, 32,000 acres. Lake here, I can't even say it, so I'm not even going to try it. But it's pretty cool looking at this and kind of getting an idea for someone like me that where I'm not... Um, I'm not affiliated with any of these part of the country because they're never on TV. But now with social media and stuff, we kind of get to see what other lakes are out there in YouTube. So, like, that's how I found out about Door Shack. Uh, what's his name? Um, Josh Jones might have mentioned Door Shack, and he went there and caught some giant smallmouth. I'm like, hey, thank you, Josh. Maybe one day I'll make it there. Okay, maybe one day. Then, like, you kind of get to there's 10 Mile Lake. I heard of 10 Mile Lake in Oregon. It's a small one. Uh, but Ten Mile Lake is one I've, I've kind of got water. It has some good fish in it as well. Sorry, give me a water break there. It's no, it's just water with some Pedialyte. Tomorrow it's going to be another hot day of fishing. I'm getting my electrolytes in, okay? Getting getting all re um, getting all you know hydrated up. So just going through here, pretty pretty cool. Now let's go to down here in the southeast division. One thing about the southeast division, you got your Jordan Lake. It's back on there. Gunnersville. Falls Lake, all these Carolina lakes that are just awesome, filled with good fish. But there's one lake in here that I know has been a good lake, but it might be kind of on the down just a little bit. I don't know, but my Florida guy's watching. What about Headwaters? I've heard Headwaters is like awesome, and it's not even in the list. Maybe they got paid to not put it in there. I don't know. That's one thing I want to ask you guys. But why, why is it not in there, okay? So Headwaters didn't make it, uh, unless it has a different name. I just didn't know. But then, you know, you get up here to the north, and gosh, all of these are wonderful. I, you know, like, you get up here to the ones in the north. You got Erie, Grand Traverse, Cayuga. I want to get to Cayuga. It's really bad. All of these are good. China Lake, look, takes 28 to 30 pounds to win tournaments. Oh, that's seven bass limit. Still, that's a giant. I mean, that's a great day of fishing. How about they're having seven bass limits? Arkansas abandoned that before I was born. So, um, I mean, yeah, I'm just kidding, guys. I think it was a little bit before that. I'm Anyway, so like Oneida's on here, Saginaw Bay, a bunch of interesting places. So, guys, let me know once again what you think about this magazine. something I've always looked forward to. Uh, and before social media and all this now, you know, it's kind of like a – I go check them out and look, and now we, we get more insights on them and can find them more. But, um, but guys, thank you. Now, let's kind of get into the Faith Juice segment today. I'm just going to share some words of encouragement to you guys. It's Tuesday right now. 
Uh, so I don't know when you're watching it, Wednesday, Thursday, a year from now, three months, whatever. But here's my words of encouragement for you today. I know I normally share some scripture, share a story, but here's kind of my word I want to share. Is <clears throat> this week, uh, or today, or whatever, next week, couple days, think of somebody you might have not talked to in a while, or just someone you haven't told them you love them, and do it. So it could be a parent, it could be a grandparent, it could be, I mean, it could be a wife, I don't know, whatever, just somebody. Someone that means something, uh, someone special to you, just call them, let them know how much you appreciate them, and that you love them, and just thank you. And the reward is, of course, the person you're calling, man, it's going to be uh, very, for them, fulfilling. But for you, it also is another just just you doing that. And it's kind of hard, I know, as guys to do that. You know, men kind of have some pride thing, but... Uh, it could be someone that you might not have talked to in a long time or someone you might be mad at. I don't know. But guys, just think of somebody. Uh, call them this week. Tell them you appreciate them. Thanks that you're thankful for them. And then just uh, you yourself will get, um, you know, some benefits out of that as well. Okay. For guys, appreciate you. Thank you for coming back to the Fishing Coach YouTube channel. Any more information about me and my stuff is down below. I'm talking about this at the end of the video for once. But I got information on my guided trips, forward facing trips. Uh, also, my future ministry endeavors with Fellowship of Christian Athletes Outdoor. There's information there. If you want more, send me a message. Appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.